This is the coast of Africa, a hundred million years ago. Protomosasaurus is not very big, less than a meter long. It's living on land, not in the water. Protomosasaurus scampers around at the feet of dinosaurs of enormous size. It spots prey. The ancient reptile gulps it down. In this epic, food was scarce on the seashore. To survive the harsh environment, the gaping mouth was quite helpful. The scrawny Mosasaurus ancestor could quickly gobble up any prey it could find. A large predator, Obelosaurus, approaches. Protomosasaurus flee in all directions, looking for anywhere to escape. Protomosasaurus mastered swimming. In the ancient ocean, fish are abundant. The for chasing after fish. The gaping mouth first evolved on land to aid survival in a food-scarce environment. But by chance, it proved to be a mighty weapon in the sea. And in this epic, there were few carnivorous enemies in the sea, or rival predators competing for prey. This environment ensured Protomosasaurus's survival. Not far away, the Protomosasaurus is also at the shoreline.
This one is pregnant. Protomosasaurus has acquired the ability to grow young within its body. The newborns are very small. Delivered underwater, they immediately head to the surface to take their first breaths. They're born tail first, so they can keep breathing until the last possible moment. The trait of live birth must have dramatically increased the survival rate of young. and eliminated the need to return to shore to lay eggs. It allowed Protomosasaurus to go out into the open sea. Eventually, their offspring would occupy all the seas across the planet.